So today we are going to be taking a look at real world specialization weapons from the Division 2 in the real world. So Division 2 game weapons, the specialization weapons, yes, it was actually put on by 511. I have never seen this and it was actually pretty cool. So we're going to be diving into this. Ooh, it's already looking pretty insane. Special Forces Sniper, a Ranger, and a Green Beret. These are the unique weapons for the specialized agents in the Division 2. Division 2 end game weapons, baby. I have seen firsthand the value of a well placed sniper shot in combat. The sharpshooter, baby. And its extreme effectiveness, especially when it's fired from a 50 cal. Like this TAC 50. It fires a 50 BMG and it was originally designed to shoot down enemy airplanes. This 100-year-old cartridge was traditionally used to be shot out of machine guns, but when shot out of the Macmillan TAC-50, precision sniper rifle, the lethality can reach out to over a mile. That's sick. What makes this TAC-50 so accurate is this bank vault of an action. It locks everything into place, so the bullet that leaves the so barrel sick, consistent right? every single time triggers pull. Wow. Combine that with a state-of-the-art rifle optic that can handle the violent recoil. It can take down a man, beast, or vehicle as far I wish, as I, I can I wish see. he had some recoil like that in the division. A sniper's rifle is his lifeline. But for the enemy, it can be the end of the line. That's actually with modern sick. ammunition, it can penetrate fortifications. It can hit targets at extreme distances and it will cut through steel like butter. In the Division 2, it is this capability that sets this weapon apart. Just as in real life, it can slice through armored enemies and put them down hard. When you want the ultimate in a long-range precision punch, this is the weapon of choice. Okay. I never knew what specialization sharpshooter was. I would have went with that one. This is the M32A1 grenade launcher. That's a sick. favorite for special operation units all around the world. You can't always bring an artillery, a mortar system onto the battlefield, but you can always bring the M32A1. It can fire six high explosive rounds in less than three seconds. There are few problems that six 40 millimeter grenades can't solve. These are used for bunker busting and taking out a large group of enemy combatants, even if they're behind cover. Oh, that was so sick. Or destroying the cover. Entirely. Look at this. To load the weapon, just rotate it, give the cylinders a full spin, and you're ready to get back to work. It's essentially a revolver on steroids and plutonium. An experienced operator can shoot 21 high explosive rounds in boop, one minute. Boop, boop. That is 2,100 square feet of absolute complete devastation. <laughs> this weapon can shoot a variety of ammunition from rubber pellets to high explosives. It's accurate 800 meters away. If you want to be an instrument of destruction in the dark zone or in PvP, this is your weapon of choice. You can't even use specialization weapons in PvP. You lied to us. In the endgame, in the Division 2, if you choose the survivalist, the weapon of choice is the crossbow. With history dating back to the 6th century BC, the My crossbow least favorite specialization. is truly the first precision killing machine. For those but looking I, that for one stealth, actually looks cool. the crossbow is an ancient weapon that is still formidable today. Modern day crossbows are as accurate as rifles at targets over 100 meters and can even penetrate steel. Pop quiz, what's this? If you said it's an arrow, you're wrong. It's called a bolt, and modern day crossbows can shoot it at over 450 feet per second or 300 miles an hour. In the Division 2, there's even something that would make John Rambo smile explosive bolts. Well, you can't pick these up in your local sporting goods store. In the Division 2, these bolts can clear a path with precision no. and power. That was sick. You don't have to be hunting zombies to like crossbows. While I wouldn't be carrying one of these in combat, it is absolutely a powerful tool in the right hands. Do you 
like the 511 gear that you use in Division 2, head to 511tactical.com. So, ooh, this was actually by, uh, sponsored store. by 511. And that's why if you notice, 511 is like store. one of the one real brands that you can actually buy at your local store um, versus all the other gear. And when specializations came out, there was only three specializations. So that's why we only get to see right there. We only got to see the survivalist, sharpshooter, and demolitionist. We don't get to see the gunner class. I would like to see someone come out with the machine gun. Or even um, some of the other ones. So let me know what you guys think. The flamethrower would be kind of cool too. But hey, that was actually pretty cool. Have you guys ever seen this? Let me know down in the comments. I thought that was actually pretty cool. 511 putting on a show. Um, we'll see. See if we can find some more of these. Hopefully they do. A, they should actually come back and do the other specializations they added later on. What do you guys think? I think so. All right, guys. We'll see you guys around. Nothing but skills out. Take it easy, everybody.